he called me up on Facebook and uh, and he said let's dance and I accepted the fight. You know, he's a pretty good fighter. You know, I know him too well. He knows me well, but I know more. You know, um, he says is um, he says that I'm, I'm motivated because of, I'm fighting Shaw. But I'm, I'm not motivated because of Shaw. I'm motivated because of my son, you know? He's my motivation. And right now he's in Europe. It's even, I even got more fire into me, you know? I'm very hungry and uh, I know what I want. When I, get, when, I, when I want something, I get it, you know? Um, um, I just can't wait to get in the cage and fight him, you know? It's just that uh, I need to prove him wrong that I'm a better fighter and uh, a hungrier fighter than him. Um, he doesn't look too hungry. He just said... Uh, I know it because I've seen his past fights and, you know, um, and uh, I've seen his records. I study his fights. I, I follow his record. You know, I follow him and he's, he says he's 15 and 6, but he's not 15 and 6, but he's 15 and 7. But, you know, maybe maybe they messed up his record, but I know he has 15 and 7. He has 7 losses, but he, he just doesn't want to admit, you know, I'm real, you know. I fought, I fought a lot of good guys, you know, uh, back to back. If you see my record, you know, there's no easy fights, you know. Um, I fought a lot of Eben Rose. He's one of the good guy, good fighter, and Marcus Pahumpa, black belt, fifth degree, uh, third degree black belt. You know, he's, he's no slouch in the ground. You know, he's a very good fighter. Um, I fought Pedro Munoz in Brazil. You know, I went to decision, but I lost to him. But you know, I was out of shape. You know, but I, I knew, I knew I was, I knew why I was coming into the ring, and and you know, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't work too hard for that fight. But uh, you know, I fought Pedro Munoz is one of the the 15 top in um 15 top prospect in 135 you know in the world you right now and he's getting to UFC so I felt like I fought one of the toughest guy in Brazil and one of the tough Brazilian you know he's just he's he's just a very good striker very good ground you know I I, I look up to that guy after that fight you know because I gave so much respect for him after that fight but uh um after that I fought Chase BB Back to back, name, you can name all the fighters I fought. They're not, they're not easy, you know. I, I go to battles. I like, I like to fight the best in the world. I'll say, I'll repeat it myself. I want to fight the best in the world. That's who I am, you know. I don't want to, I want to get in the cage and fight a chump like Shaw does, like eight winning streak with chumps. I don't do that. I fight anyone. I'll fight anyone in, in the United States, whoever. I'll fight Dominic Cruz. I'll fight Mike East. I'll fight anyone. This is who I am. This is my weight division. I need to be the best in the world. That's why I train so hard. To train so hard. MMA Masters is not, you get an MMA Masters, I'm gonna say, it's one of the hardest training camp in Florida. You know, I've been to different camps, you know, but when, once I get back to MMA Masters, there's no, there's no game, you, you know. You, you're, you're for real, you know. You get, you're stepping in the, in the mat with one of the best fighters in the world. Ricardo Lamas, I've been training with him for the month right now. And I've been improving so much, and I'm getting getting so confident right now. I'm so confident, I can't wait to get in the step in the cage for, for a shot. Mm -hmm. It's about my family because, um, you know, they're going to Europe, and we still sold our, our house already. And, uh, you know, I need that check, you know. I really need that check, and I'm going to get it. No, just the other W, you know. Shaw, you know, I know Shaw back in the days. So I went with Costa Rica with him. We fought together. He cornered me, and I cornered him. Um, he's he was a real good guy, you know, uh, from the outside, you know. He knows his business. When it comes to the business, it's fighting, you know. He he told me on Facebook. We inbox each other, and you know, uh, and he told me, you know, you know, we just I'm just fighting you. Just it's for business, you know. It's just not as a friend, you know. You know, I know it's just part of the job, you know. Uh, I respect that, you know, but I don't fight friends, you know, I fight people. There's a lot of fighters out here, a lot of fighters in Florida you could fight, but why you got to pick me, you know, I don't understand. Um, I never talk about Shaw, you know, I never get attention from Shaw. I, I know, I think Shaw likes attention. That's why I see that. He likes to be in, he likes to get attention on Facebook, social media and everything, and, and uh, whatever website he is, but uh um, one time I was in a website and I checked out on this website called, I don't know, some, some I think MMA, f um, I don't know, I don't know. It was some website and I checked it out and, you know, he, and at that time he was fighting in Bellator and, and um, I think before Bellator, he called, he called me out in the wish list. You know, he put me in the wish list. Like, he, at first I see Pohumpa and then I would like to fight Chris Manuel and then, uh, and then he mentions my name. I was like, hold on, is that my name right there? It's like, what, why? Why he wants to fight me? You know, why? Why I need to prove for him? You know, why? Why he? 
there's so many fighters out here I just don't understand but um I'm you know I accept it and I'm confident I'm gonna I'm gonna beat him I'm a finisher not a decision fighter I like to finish fights all my wins are finished Shaw finish I mean Shaw's record if you see Shaw's record and you see all his wins that not mostly finish it's decisions and Little TKOs, and I've seen his fights, you know. I, like, I would like to thank for um, Roman's show, and uh, I would like to thank for uh, MMA Masters, Master Sazan, Daniel Reverdi Sensei, Ricardo Lamas, Danny Chavez, Michael Nace, a good wrestler, and uh, I'm ready to go.